Like, I'm... I'm probably... Oh, shit. What in the f- I like fuck? it, though. Is it a snake? Is it a seahorse? Is it uh, a, a worm? I, I, I don't know. I'm very confused. We're getting one and naming it Birdo. No, oh, maybe gross. not. Gross. Whatever. It's cool. I like it. Look at I it. I like its, its colors. <laughs> I like that its eye is huge so you know exactly how angry it is. <laughs> I like that it's got the little Zelda eye on its chest. Yeah. So you know where I'll its weak it's point is? Oh yeah, it might be like a psychic poison type or something like that. Yeah. Are there any psychic poison types? I don't remember. I don't think there, there are. There probably is? I can't think of a I single don't, one. I can't think of it. Let's see. Yeah, I, um, I can't think of any. Yeah, I don't know. Um, what was I saying? Something about the the Poplio final being great. Yeah, and Poplio I'm gonna, final's great. Like, like, I'm gonna have to come up with some really good names for it. And I'm gonna, uh, like, so starters are, are like, what is it, like, seven-eighths of the time a starter is male? Uh, I think it's... It's, I think, 87.5% yeah, of the some, time. Yeah, something like that. Like, it, it's very close to 90. It's silly that it's not just 90. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I want to say it was 7 out of 8 or something. But, like, whatever it is, it's, like, gonna be, like, a weird merman. I'm gonna have to come up with some really good names. <laughs> uh, Eric. No. <laughs> no. There Herald. was a there was a mer boy in the the um little, a, mermaid, yeah, the little mermaid animated TV show. series. Yeah. I, don't I don't remember that remember kid's name. name. I don't yeah, remember much of that show. I know he and Flounder used to butt heads because in the TV series they what, wanted were they Flounder like to, in a love triangle. They with wanted Ariel? Flounder to seem like he was interested in Ariel. That's that's Ariel like, was not interested in anyone. Though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we know how that ends up. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, like she, she, she's not into. She's, she's a, she's a leg she, man. She's not into fish. <laughs> like yeah. any, anything, you can't be even slightly part fish. Like yeah, she's not into that. Um, but like, that's really sad for Flounder. <laughs> like, like, I don't know. Flounder has no chance. Like, does he? Does he realize he's not a mer anything? Does Flounder <laughs> know he's a fish? No, nah, man, he's a mer fish. He's a fish on top and a fish on the bottom. Oh, the rarest kind of mer folk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's all it is. Don't worry about it. I I do in general enjoy like mermaid stuff. Like, like, there's always a I lot of okay. weird shit going on with mermaids. Like, there's a lot of p potential to it. Like, so I'm, I'm probably gonna have to come up with something oh, fun for, like, a character for when the game comes out. And I've got a cool seal mermaid boy. Merman. Merman, yeah. Merman. Man-maid. <laughs> sure. Man-boy. <laughs> Oh, I've got one of those already. Hey, hey, hey. You walked into it. Yeah, well. No, you're not a man boy. You're a man man. Wait, not, did it what not did even it a, put us to sleep and Huh? It was it yawn? It must have yawned. It probably did. Um but you're a man Six man, not yawn. a single part of you is a fish. Okay. <laughs> I might be some kind of ape, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you're an so, ape, man. So going back to, to Pokemon, though. Because <laughs> we like, just can't stay on it. For the Pokemon that were released, uh, like, information-wise, I meant more, did you see things like the Persimian? No. No? No. No, okay, it is, it is like, a large, I'm gonna say, lemur. <laughs> Should I get, like, my tablet and look no, this no, up? No, 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 it's fine, but... It's like a large lemur or something that has just a, a persimmon on its head. And it, um, it, it's like holding back, I think it's another fruit, and it throws it like a football. Like it's just a, a foot, like a gridiron playing Pokemon. Huh. Except it's, right. it's some kind of weird, like, uh, monkey that does it. Okay. And then there's an alternative version, like, they, they think it's going to be Sun and Moon exclusive, where one of them is in one and one of them is in the other. And the other one is an orangutan, and I can't remember what it's called. Is it like an orange -utan? No, its its name is like a pun on Guru, and I think it still has the fruit going on. Hmm. But it's okay. just got like a big palm frond that it, yeah, it waves in this. front of its face. Um, the, the big Guru Pokemon has a really interesting ability, though. 
I I set an ability. I'm pretty sure it's actually an attack now that I think about it. Um, but the the big guru Pokemon has the uh, has an attack that when you use it, um, he will instruct the other Pokemon on what attack to use. So if you are in a double battle, because both of them have to be used in double battles. Mm -hmm. If you're in a double battle and let's say you've got something like um, like a Kyogre or something as yeah. the, the other Pokemon that Why you're using. Why are you not using? getting that item? What I, oh, wow. I didn't even see it. Wow. Yeah, I wasn't I'm blind, sure what apparently. your deal was. <laughs> yeah, so there's a bug catcher in here. I'm just going to fix the team real fast and then go and fight him. So, um... That particular Pokemon, though, it, it, you can use the you attack. You heal Rudy. All right. <laughs> you can use the attack to um, go in and, like, have Kyogre use... Like, Kyogre can potentially use Surf, let's say. Mm -hmm. And then you could have it use its attack and instruct your Kyogre to use Surf a second oh, time. Oh, okay. So it's basically one Pokemon gets two attacks if you so yeah, choose. if you so choose. Okay. Yeah. And it's actually, it looks really good oh! for a lot of people. Yeah, that's the other one. That's, okay, I love it's it. a wingless bee. It's based on a wingless I, bee. I love it. I want that. I hope we can catch one of those soon. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to find them, but yeah, 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 yeah. That's the, the third kind of ant, though. <laughs> Bees and ants are related, right? I Pretty have sure. No idea. <laughs> I mean, they've got a lot of stuff Are they stuff related going on to similar? whatever Spony is, too? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but, like, that thing was cute. I accept it. And, uh, actually, Nestle, And I would like one. Because I, I was going to switch because I'm like, oh, man, it's a water type. And then I remember, no, it isn't. <laughs> not yet, it's not. Yeah, they have to evolve to become water types. So yep. I could probably just sit here with Nestle and hit mm -hmm. everything that comes out. Get them some hot cocoa. Yeah. Because you're, you're, you're I'm Nestle hot chocolate. And you're, yeah. <laughs> Because I'm hot s'more. Um, I don't remember what the evolved version is even called. Oh, God, I forgot to. <laughs> Fyroke. Okay. Or something like that. I think. Okay. I'm not 100% sure. Sometimes I forget they're not normally green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're not called Snakelet or uh, Snestle. Yeah, no, Nestle is not called Snakelet. Anything like that. And Coos. Goose, why are you turning, like, sides on us? Why are you fucking heel switching? Come on. Uh, yeah, it's, I, I wish I wish I could think of some actual Jeez. quotes from Dexter's Lab for Kusla Oh, for Kusla Goopa Goop? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I can't think of any off the top he, of my head. He used to do that weird laughing thing that I think is, uh... Yeah, was that Dr. Oh, hey. Louise? Oh, hey. Oh, catch it! Yeah, all right, I'll catch it. Like, was, was he Dom DeLuise, or was he just, uh, like, an impersonator? I think he was supposed to sound like Dom DeLuise. I don't know if he really was. Dom DeLuise was basically, you know him from Don Bluth films. He was the crow in Nim. He was the sidekick dog uh, in All much. Dogs Go to Heaven. Way too much. He's I the troll it. in Central Park. He was not the penguin with the pebble, though. That was someone else, and I made that mistake. Because yeah. in an MMO that I haven't played in, in a year, um, I own a penguin uh, pet that I decided to name Dom DeLuise and then looked it up and was like, oh no, that was that was Martin Short. Okay, never mind. <laughs> but I still got a I've got a penguin named Dom DeLuise on Mabinogi. It's pretty great. Yeah. I, I haven't played that game in a year. No, I know. <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I got Josh to play it and then we both stopped. Yeah, I, I didn't care. <laughs> Yeah. I don't really do well with MMOs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Neither of us do. <laughs> like, they're, they're those kinds of games that I could pick up and I could play for a couple of days and be into, and then almost immediately just lose yeah. all interest. Yeah, in that's, like, that's just how they always seem to go for us. Part of it is that we <clears throat> rarely get into, like, the social aspect of those games. Yeah, we'll even see. if we're playing the same game. Like, we just kind of will, like, not pay attention. <laughs> Yeah. To the parts where you do like team stuff. It's unfortunate, but that's just kind of yeah, how it is. Yeah, and also socializing in an MMO was never a good idea. I've and I think noticed. It's, I think it's relatively common for people to be like that in MMOs too. Like they go oh, in yeah. expecting just to play a single player game, and they get miffed when you have to not. Yeah, like, and it's like teaming up with people in an MMO is really like a, a crapshoot. Like you could come up cross like, like. 
Potatoes. the worst people. Yeah, like, I guess that's the term for it in Monster Hunter? Oh, uh, that's the term in it for, for most MMOs. Yeah, but it's like you can come across people who are absolute garbage. You can come across people who turn out to be stalkers or scammers or whatever. Or, and sometimes you can find, like, good people, but it's like... You're better off, like, just knowing someone else who's playing the game, and we generally don't. And any game that someone else that we know is playing is gonna be a game that my computer can't run, because my computer's old. Yeah. Which is why I can run Mabinogi, because that game kind of looks like it's <laughs> meant for an N64. A little bit. I, I think it's charming, though. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a very anime MMO and all yeah. that. And it, it controls, like, trash. Yeah. Well, anyways, I own the the name Dom DeLuise <laughs> hey, on Mabinogi. And oh, Kusula Goopa here. Goop, the character from Dexter's Lab, sounds like he's voiced by Dom DeLuise, and I'm not sure. I don't I know. I think he was. So that's just, just imagine that voice coming out of our, our couple fly. <laughs> What, Dom Deluise? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess. I hope he evolves into something that looks even hey, more like Kusla Goop. This is one of the trainer types that I really like because they are so unique and weird. Is it? It's the, the two. Rancher yeah, girl? there's two ranchers. Not just the girl that. Uh, um, yeah, not no, that's not. Though. That's not the rancher. Yeah, so the, that's something that showed up. I think it was in fourth generation, if I'm not mistaken. Um. And it's it's just ranchers, and there's there's the girl and the boy, mm -hmm. and they're both just like weird cowboy people. Like, yeah, there's like a whole town in fourth gen in in um, Sinnoh that just got oh, them walking ground around. Type. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I keep forgetting it's ground. Yeah, it's ground and electric. <laughs> yeah. I, hope, I really hope the the shiny of that thing is sonic blue. <laughs> That would be kind of nice, yeah. yeah I, I don't I mean, think we're ever going to see it. the shiny of it, but yeah. I want a shiny of that. I'm a little disappointed that they don't evolve, to be honest. Like, yeah. the the fact that this thing doesn't evolve is almost kind of, like, heart heartachey. I don't know. That's not the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's disappointing. <laughs> it's a little disappointing. Yeah, Because it like, looks like it should. I don't know. Yeah, like... This thing, the way it looks, and and the way I like am weird about Sonic stuff, it's like I want that thing to be the Eevee of this game, and you give it <laughs> okay, yeah, like you oh, give I it you different stones, and it just turns into different Sonics. Like I want to be able to give it like a, a Firestone <clears throat> or or some kind of ground thing, and have it turn into Knuckles. <clears throat> Yeah, this is, uh, it's one of those Pokemon, and I guess what they were going for was they wanted to come up with, like, in the fan Pokemon, like, game, mm -hmm. what if we had a, like, Evolta? What if we had a uh, Pachirisu? What if we had a, a Plus Lord or Minin? Yeah. And it's like, okay, but at the same time, can we please get, like, a Raichu for those? Yeah! God, um, if Plusle and Mine uninvolved, that, that would, that would completely oh. redeem their their shitty existence. It's a chill Like, Plusle and Mine are cute, but it's like, god damn it, they're, they're really, they're geared towards double battles, which really isn't that big a thing, and they're not even that good for that. Like, like they're not strong, so yeah, it does, they they're just there to they're there to often. show off the gimmick, and that's it. And they look like Pikachu clones. And it's like, come on, at least evolve them. Yeah, it's it's a little disappointing because Plusle and Minin could could get a really nice like joined evolution or something like that. Like, but they don't. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm sure there's been a million different fan designs for evolutions. For oh, there's them. a million different fan designs for, like, a third one. Oh, yeah, like a neutral one. Yeah, like a plus minus plus on minus. <laughs> like and just a, and a neutral, neutral. Yeah. or something. I don't actually remember what they call it, but yeah, pretty much. Oh, no. Uh, let's see, it's an electric type, so we can't use water. Coos is not Flying. Yeah, this this is probably he's, a good bet. He's bug and fairy, so fairy is still gonna get stab off of bug. Is not gonna do super good damage. I'm thankful for the fact that bug isn't super effective. Oh god, isn't hit super hard. I was gonna say by electric, but yeah, I, I'm just thinking about that now. <laughs> Why isn't it actually? Um, 
I don't know. I mean, if you think about it, bugs should be weak to everything because they're bugs, but, like, that doesn't make sense on a balance level. Yeah, maybe not, like, radiation or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know. Bugs can be... Bugs are easy to kill. Yeah, bugs should be very easy to kill. But that, well, that doesn't... Bugs. Then why would they be an element? I don't know. That's a good question. Why is it an element even? Like, I don't know. Like... <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. Pokemon's weird. Early, like, yeah. the beta form of red and blue had bird type. And the reason that so many flying types are also normal is that that's the closest to what bird type's weaknesses would have been. What, when they normal? decided normal and flying together. I, I thought bird was literally just flying, but uh, the wrong name. No, no. What I've heard was that they were originally just bird type. Like, Pidgey would have been bird type. <sighs> And bird type would have had, what would it be like, weak to fighting. I, I but, could be... Uh, go ahead. But like, then you'd, like, it would be weak to rock, and uh, flying strong to fight. I don't know, but it was like, a like the, the closest they could come to keeping the balance was making it normal and flying. I could be wrong, but I think you can actually look into uh, the, the glitched version of Red and Blue. Like, mm -hmm. if you glitch the game, you do start finding Pokemon that are things Yeah, and that's like well type. documented. Yeah, but I, I'm pretty sure that if you look into it, um, bird type is literally just flying, but it's named bird. Maybe? I don't know. I've heard this somewhere, though. I, I don't know. I, I could be wrong. I could be super wrong. But yeah, either way, like, there's some weird typings that, like, shouldn't be. Uh, sound type used to be in, but they took it out. Really? That, that's in the beta for uh, third generation. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. God, that explains Wismer. Yep, that's Wismer's entire line, Chatot as well. Uh, there are a handful of attacks that never showed up that's typing was set to sound. There's also yeah. question, 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 which is a type that doesn't properly exist, but still is yeah, technically the, in the it's game. It's the type for curse, and um, yeah. uh, my I want to say that might be considered the type for like weird plot shit. Um, no, maybe not. What kind of weird plot shit? Like the ghosts in the tower, but oh, that's no, first no. gen, yeah, so no. no. That's, that's not. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't I know that know they, they, they had to make a question, question, question plate for Arceus. Just to make <laughs> sure that there wasn't a hole in the data or something like that. Yeah, but it's not available ever. Yeah, so it doesn't like, do yeah. anything. No, it, well, it, it, it can't does. do anything. Oh! oh hey! A shoutin'. You shoutin'. That's that's kind of cool. Yeah, I like, that. I like it. I like its face. Yeah, that face. looks cool. Let's burn it. Yeah, <laughs> I like its face. It's kind yeah, of. It's got a really nice face. Yeah, it's kind of smug. Oh wow! Smug. It hit the hell out of us. Oh, it's flying a flying type. type. Herp. Okay, that's my bad. 